Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Nicholas Earl, and welcome back to another episode of Earl Sports Bets. And today we got a Sunday NBA slate. We got 10 games here. Um, first, we're going to quickly recap how we did yesterday. Yesterday, we went 5-5. Five and five. Our losses were Detroit minus 2.5, which I felt really confident about, and then they went to double overtime against Cleveland. So, yeah, that happened. And then we had Charlotte minus 2.5. Knicks plus eight and a half, Suns minus three and a half, and Portland minus eight. So at the end of the night really killed us. We started five and three. We got wins from Atlanta, from Orlando, Indiana, San Antonio, and uh, Minnesota plus nine. They ended up winning that game straight up. So that was a really uh, nice win for Minnesota there. So we are 15 and 14 uh, through uh, the first few days of NBA season. Uh, we're doing okay, not great, but uh, let's see if we can uh, get on a nice winning streak here. Uh, starting with today's slate, we will open up with the Dallas Mavericks and uh, heading to Los Angeles to take on the Clippers. It is a five-point spread, minus 205, one, plus 175 run back. And uh, this Mavericks team didn't look great against uh, the Lakers. They just look outclassed. And then they lost to the Suns on opening night. Clippers look like they were the superior team against Denver on Christmas night. Uh, they looked good in that game. Uh, my model has the Dallas Mavericks winning this game by 0.7 points. So we're going to be taking uh, 5.7 points of value on that plus 5 and a potential sprinkle on that money line at plus 175. Dallas could be a nice sneaky pick this year uh, to go pretty far. Uh, and I think that they can at least cover the five-point spread today against the Los Angeles Clippers. Next, we have a San Antonio Spurs heading to New Orleans to take on uh, Zion and the Pelicans. It is a five-and-a-half-point spread, minus 215 for the Pelicans, plus 185 for the Spurs. And my model has this game at pick'em. Zero-point game, uh, my model has this as. Uh, which is going to lead me to take San Antonio here at plus five and a half. I'm probably going to lay off the money line uh, for this game, but Spurs have looked pretty good in the uh, first couple of games. Uh, they won last night and they covered, or uh, they beat, I think, Toronto last night. And I forgot who they played the opening night. But they're 2 0. They were projected to finish pretty low in that Western Conference. They're off to a solid start, and I think they can continue that going here. I think Spurs are going to be one of those teams where in the beginning, they're going to be very underrated. And uh, you're going to get some pretty nice lines on them. Plus five and a half today against the New Orleans Pelicans is a line I'm looking to bet. Next, we have the Washington Wizards and the Orlando Magic. These two teams played last night. Magic came out on top. And I think tonight, the same exact thing's going to happen. We're going to be taking the Orlando Magic minus one. Uh, my model has them winning by 6.8 points. I'm uh, creating a nice 5.8 points of value on this line. So the Magic have looked good uh, to start off the year. They beat the Wizards last night, and they uh, they also beat it was the Heat on uh, on their opening night. So Magic looking good this year. I think they're a nice dark horse in the uh, Eastern Conference. But uh, we're gonna be taking the Orlando Magic here minus one against the Washington Wizards. Next, we have the Brooklyn Nets taking on the Charlotte Hornets. Ten and a half point spread, minus 525, plus 420 run back. Uh, and the Nets have looked really good this year. Granted, they played the Warriors uh, on opening night, but then they took care of business against the Celtics on uh, Christmas and looked really good doing it. Uh, KD and Kyrie are going to be a lot of fun to watch. But I think the Charlotte team could be very scrappy in this game. And keep it within double digits. Uh, I'm going to be taking the Charlotte Hornets plus 10.5 in this game. The model has it at a, uh, the Nets winning by 6.8 points, uh, creating a 3.7 points of value on this uh, line. So the Charlotte Hornets, I think, could be a little scrappy here and keep this game close and cover that 10.5 point spread. Uh, next, we have the biggest value play on the day here. Uh, we have the Philadelphia 76ers heading to Cleveland and taking on the Cavaliers. Uh, Cavaliers coming off of a double overtime win last night uh, over the Detroit Pistons. 
uh, and they're right back at it tonight, and I'm going right to them. Um, I'm taking the Cleveland Cavaliers plus seven and a potential on the money line. My model has the Cavaliers by winning by 0. .3 points. So at the very least, I'm going to be laying two units on the plus seven. That's probably where I'm going to go with this. I don't think uh, Cleveland actually wins this game, but I definitely think they keep it close. Um, 76ers on the road are not a great team. I know last night they took care of business against the Knicks, but I, I want nothing to do with them on the road this year. Uh, they proved that they are not great last year. Next, we have the New York Knicks. Uh, back in, or they're in New York. And taking on Giannis and the Milwaukee Bucks, it's a 12.5 point spread, minus 900 for the Bucks, plus 640 for the Knicks. Uh, and I've bet the Knicks the first two games, and they have not covered either of those games. Uh, therefore, this game is a pass for me. There's not enough value on the line. My lean is to the New York Knicks plus 12 and a half, but I have that feeling that Milwaukee can blow this game open, and it won't even be close. So this game is a straight up pass for me. My lean is towards the Knicks. I have uh, my model has the Buck winning this game by 9.8 points, but I'm not looking to bet this game at all. Next, we have the Boston Celtics taking on the Indiana Pacers. Two-point spread. Um, and this is going to be the uh, minus 130 for the Celtics, plus 110 for the Pacers. I think this will be the Pacers' first real test of the year. I um, mean, they've played the Knicks and they've played the Bulls, and they've won both those games pretty soundly. Uh, this is going to be an interesting test for them, and I think they may be able to come to perform today. I'm going to be taking the, uh, the Indiana Pacers here, plus two, and on the money line, plus 110. My model has them winning by 1.7 points. Uh, so 3.7 points of value on that line for the Pacers, the plus two. And we're getting 1.7 points of value on a plus 110 line that I'm looking to potentially take here. Next is another game where I'm probably going to pass on this game, just not enough value. Uh, the Golden State Warriors take on the Chicago Bulls. These are probably two of the worst teams in the NBA right now. Or at least until uh, Clay comes back for the Warriors. But... Uh, I don't want to bet on either of these teams. Three and a half point spread, minus 165 for the Warriors, plus 145 for the Bulls. Uh, I'm going to be probably just passing on this game straight up. Uh, the Warriors just are, haven't given me anything good to really want me to lay points on them this year. So this game's a straight up pass. My lean is towards the uh, Golden State Warriors. My model has them winning by 6.4 points, creating 2.9 points of value on this line but it's not looking like a uh, game I really want to bet. It's just two crappy teams right now that I just want to lay off and see what these teams do. Um, but next we have the Phoenix Suns heading to Sacramento to take on uh, the Kings. These two teams played last night, and the Kings, I believe, came, uh, the Kings came out on top, I believe. I didn't watch the whole game, but uh, I know the Phoenix didn't cover. Um, but I'm going to be taking Phoenix again tonight. Uh, at minus three, my model has them winning by 7.9 points, creating 4.9 points of value on this line. Um, Suns, I think, are going to be a good team this year. Uh, Devin Booker and DeAndre Ayton is going to lead a very talented crew. And I think they can get the job done here against the Sacramento Kings tonight. Uh, and the 4.9 points of value are really nice for this. And finally, we have the last game of the night. We have the Minnesota Timberwolves heading to Los Angeles to take on the Lakers. 11-point spread, minus 750 for the Lakers, plus 550 for the T-Wolves. And the T-Wolves have looked really good this year. They uh, they covered against the uh, Pistons on opening night for them. And then they won as nine-point dogs last night against a uh, a good Jazz team. I'm going to be taking the Minnesota Timberwolves for this game, plus 11. Uh, I don't think they win this game straight up. Uh, my model has the Lakers by 6.9 points. Uh, so a solid 4.1 points of value on this line uh, for the Minnesota Timberwolves. So I'll be looking to take the T-Wolves to cover the plus 11 against the Los Angeles Lakers tonight. Uh, so let's quickly go over our plays for this card. We have the Mavericks plus 5 with the potential on the money line at plus 175. The Spurs at plus 5.5, Magic minus 1, Hornets plus 10.5, Cavaliers plus 7, Indiana Pacers plus 2, potential money line. 
the Suns minus three, and the Timberwolves at plus 11. That is going to just about do it for this video. If this information was helpful to you guys uh, at any point, feel free to hit that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications so you guys are notified every single time we come out with a video here at Pro Sports Bet. We have tons of content coming your ways. We cover tons of sports here from uh, the NFL, college basketball, college football, UFC. We're going to be covering esports, NBA, WNBA, NHL, and MLB. So we have tons of content coming to you guys uh, in these next few months and uh, for a while now. So uh, be sure to subscribe and make sure you have those post notifications on so you know when we come out with a video here. Uh, but that is going to just about do it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, let's cast some tickets today. Uh, take advantage of some uh, NBA on a NFL Sunday. But uh, that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. Let's cash some tickets, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.